Okay, so this is how to do it. Cut the top off. Then I'll take the seam. Fold each seam down like this. I'm using my cell phone, so I'm sorry. And I'll do the same thing to the seam. I'll put my rule down the seam like that. Then I'll take my disc cutter and run it up that seam like that. And I'll do all four of them just to get the front, the back, and the front out of it. And then I'll have like this one, this is the front. Then I'll, pa I'll stack them up, center the Crown Royal logo at two and a half inches across the middle. Cut one side, then I'll measure the other side to five, to make sure I got the five inches across here, the width, and gotta give me my five by five square so I have that quarter inch um, seam allowance. So I can double stitch it, make it nice and strong because this fabric will probably stretch and tear if not. See you later. After cutting out the panels, we iron them like this so we can cut them in the squares. Squares like that. It's going to take 144 front and 144 to the back. I have this whole bag here to cut. Have this whole bag here to cut. And I have twice as many out in the other room that I have to cut to make this quilt for my uh, niece, well, Debbie's niece, Jenny. Your niece, too. My niece, too. Do the waist. There's the waist. So I've enlisted Debbie to help me. <laughs> Cut these packs. Okay. Now I'm gonna have this camera upside down. This is the progress in case you were wondering about the Crown Royal quilt. This is 27 Crown Royal bags cut into five by five squares. I'm gonna do this the traditional way. Usually we do four and a half by four and a half. I'm gonna do five by five. And I'm going to have a quarter inch seam allowance on all four corners. So that's what I have. Just so you know what's going on. I'm going to stretch it out. Turn it out. And then we can iron them together.